So here we have the Nissan Qashqai on a 15 plate. I'm going to start off by showing you around the outside of the car and then we'll hop in and run through some of the controls on the inside of it. From the outside though, you can see it's a five door car with alloy wheels and tinted windows. We're going to start off inside the boot area first of all. As we approach the back of the car, you can see we have reversing sensors, plenty of boot space as well, along with that 60-40 split folding rear seat, should you wish to increase this space even further again. And then these two tray sections both lift and remove to give you even more space underneath. You can even use them to divide the boot up into different sections. Okay, so we're just gonna work our way back around to the front of the car, and then we'll hop in and run through some of the controls as I mentioned before. Just briefly before we climb in, I think it's well worth seeing the interior from this exterior point of view. There's plenty to run through on the dashboard, so let's hop in and we'll do that now. Okay, now that we're inside the car, we're going to start with the dials. On the left-hand side, we have the rev counter and coolant temperature gauge. On the right-hand side, the speedometer and fuel gauge. In the centre, you can see the total mass of this car there, 55,534. The trip computer above that can be changed using buttons on the steering wheel for various different bits of information. As you can see there, a digital readout for the speedometer amongst other things, all of which are accessed with the buttons over here. We have our stereo controls over there as well, cruise control, speed limiter, and phone controls. The phone controls can only be used after you pair the phone up to the car, and that is done over on the central screen by hitting the phone button, then you'd hit connect, and then pair new device, follow instructions on screen from there. Uh, we have the radio, of course, AM, DAB, and FM radio all available. If you want to listen to your own music, you can do so via the CD player, we have auxiliary input and Bluetooth audio as well. We've got satellite navigation, as you can see, really nice clear color display, a very easy system to use. And on top of that, a full color 360 parking camera. So reversing camera on the right hand side, bird's eye view image of exactly where the car is parked on the left hand side. And it goes a couple of steps beyond that. So you can get a front facing camera and the bird's eye view or a front facing camera and the front passenger side wheel. Below that, we have dual zone climate control. You can adjust the passenger temperature, driver temperature. You can increase and decrease the fan speed. You can determine what direction you'd like the air to be distributed in. When you're happy with those settings, your air conditioning is off, back on again, or hit auto. The car will now maintain the temperatures you've asked for by taking full control of the fan speed and the direction of the air for you. You can manually override that anytime you wish to. Underneath there, we have a 12 volt charging socket, our electronic handbrake, and the six speed manual gearbox. The last thing I wanted to mention is the panoramic glass roof. There is a button uh, up the top there that will open the sun blind all the way to the back of the rear seat. This is a fixed section of glass, but as you can see with this fully open, it lets in a huge amount of light to the cabin area. All that leaves me to say is thank you for taking the time to watch this video. If you'd like to come and see the car for yourself and have a test drive, please feel free to give us a call here at Surrey Specialist Cars. We'd love to hear from you soon.